Aaron, thanks. You can see all those football fans really bundled up, and for good reason, because it is cold out there. If you haven't been outside yet, make sure you bundle up, layer up as we go through the overnight, because with the clear skies, it's getting cold. A lot of places already frosty. Heading into the weekend, we're looking at cool conditions Saturday, but Sunday is looking milder, and next week gets really mild. December gets here, but temperatures will be rising through the 60s. Pretty amazing. But high temperatures today, actually, we do have a 60 in Anderson for your high. Clemson at 58, Greenville 57, with Greenwood and Newberry at 59, Asheville at 48, and Franklin at 50. Right now, looking outside, visibility is good. If you're traveling, uh, perhaps headed back to where you came from for Thanksgiving, we're looking good right now. Lots of clear skies, but once again, it is cold already. Down to 34 in Lawrence and Green. Greenwood 39 in Hartwell, Anderson 42 downtown Greenville. The concrete saving you a little bit from that intense cold with 28 in Hendersonville, Asheville 31 and Brevard at 29, Waynesville at 26. So it's going to be one of those nights where we have that hard freeze. Make sure you protect the plants, the pets and the pipes as well. Now tomorrow we'll have a decent recovering those temperatures for the upstate normally 59. I'm thinking around 57, so a little bit below average for the mountains. Your normal high is 56. I'm thinking about 53 for you right now. Fox radar 3D not showing anything going on. We've got the clear skies and the light winds as we have high pressure just to our west, and that'll be settling over us in the next 24 hours, providing that very cold condition. In the meantime, across the northeast, it's snow and rain. If you're traveling back to New England, they're seeing the snow now around Boston and to Vermont, New Hampshire, a cold rain along the main coast and some lake effect snows into PA and New York, while further back to the west looks like a little bit of snow falling through Illinois back into Iowa out ahead of a warm front there. Central Plains nice and quiet at the present time. Got a little rain back into Texas and New Mexico, so your travel aside from the northeast really not all that bad. And we've got high pressure to the west keeping them high and dry right now. Future cast rain and clouds. Well, we don't have rain and we don't have clouds as we go through the overnight with the clear skies. Thanks to high pressure moving into your Saturday. Maybe you're headed out to the stores or just out and about. We're looking at a lot of sunshine with clear skies. Could see some high clouds building in as we go through tomorrow night on into Sunday, but they're not going to produce anything in the way of rain. In fact, we've got several days where we won't be seeing any rain. And by Sunday, you can see we have a lot of high clouds in place, but nothing in the way of precipitation. We will see a little cold front dropping through Sunday night on into Monday, cooling us off a little bit. But note, we have the clouds, but no precipitation. That's going to be a problem as we go through next week with the temperatures rising and the dry conditions. The fire danger also goes up, so that's a consideration. And then as we go through time, I think we'll be warming well into the 60s by the end of next week, but we do keep it dry. But there is a possibility of a little bit of precipitation, and that comes on Sunday, maybe Sunday evening evening, some rain in the upstate, maybe some snow into the mountains, but that's a big maybe because we're still pretty far out and the models have a hard time trying to figure stuff like that out that far out. We can tell you for the Palmetto Bowl tomorrow, tomorrow night between Clemson and the Gamecocks 47, cool and clear, bundle up. 29 tonight, it's going to be clear and cold. For the mountains, 23 for you, a hard freeze. And then tomorrow, 56 and more in Union. Malden and Gray Court around 57 despite all that sunshine. 96 near 58, Belton at 57, much cooler into the mountains with 50s for you, even 45 into Highlands. Carolina Sky Meter for tomorrow. I did put us at a nine, just kept us below perfect because temperatures will be a hair below average at 57, but 62 Sunday, cool it back to 55 Monday. And then look at this. We head into December and the temperatures are going up 63 Tuesday into the upper 60s Thursday and Friday and no rain in that seven days. Sunny to mostly sunny skies and for the mountains 50s the next couple of days back to the 40s Monday, but even warming for you. 50s into the lower 60s. Maybe that rain and snow chance it's next weekend, but that's a big maybe.